Okay, let's have a chat about Emma.ai. Emma is my new favorite piece of software. What Emma does is it looks at my calendar, looks at the location of my meeting times, and then it goes ahead and it plots in the travel time either from my office or it plots in the travel time um, from the previous meeting location. So before we get into the back end of Emma, let's just have a look at what this works like in real time. So if we head on over to my calendar, and then we go and make an appointment. So we're going to do this for Wednesday, the 21st of October. We're just going to call it test appointment. And then we're going to put in the location. So for this one, we're going to say we're going to do it at Flex Workspace, oh, not workshop, workspaces. And we're going to make it for an hour. And what this does, if you give it just a second, it will then go ahead and plot the travel time in both before and after that appointment. So Emma's working away in the back end to go, okay, well, where is she before that meeting? And where is she going to be after that meeting? So if we give it just a second, and then that will come across. While we're waiting though, we'll just jump back into Emma and I'm going to sign into my account. And then you'll be able to take it what this looks like from the back end. So you can see now what it's done is it's plotted in at these travel times. So it's saying, okay, beforehand, it's going to take 37 minutes by car. And then it's going to take 38 minutes um, for me to get back to my home office, which is pretty cool, right? So if we go ahead and jump into Emma, um, what it does is it gives you a bit of a summary of obviously the traveling and things that are going on. But under the settings, this is where it gets really cool. So we can go in and we can tell Emma how we like to travel. So for example, I'm always traveling in the car. So what it's doing is it's never suggesting any walk or public transport modes. But if you use those, you know, you can turn these on and off and it will affect the suggestions that Emma makes to you. So if we scroll down, so what it's done is I've connected obviously my Google Calendar. It's looking at all of these different calendars that I've got, but I'm saying that I want the travel time put directly into my main calendar. Now, Emma does create a little Emma.ai calendar here, but the reason why I have it go directly into my main one is so that things like Calendly that are looking for empty spaces in my calendar will see these as being blocked out now. Whereas on the Emma calendar, Calendly would not be looking for that. It will look at return journeys, so it'll, you know, you can see, let it know whether you want the return travel time or not as well. So there's a few different options. If you're notoriously late, you can tell it to add on extra time. So for example, at the moment, this is saying 37 minutes. If I, that's probably actually only, um, you know, 32 minutes, but what Emma's done is it's allowed me an extra five minutes just to take into account you know, any traffic or anything like that. It does not work live time with traffic yet. So it's not looking to see whether there's a car accident or whether it's heavier traffic than normal. However, they do tell me that that is on the roadmap for the future, which will just be absolutely incredible when it does. You can then go through and pick all you know, your dates and your times and that kind of stuff. You can integrate it with um, your Google Calendar, which is really cool. You can turn on and off all of the different warnings. And then we get into things like, um, they also have a little version of Calendly if you want people to be able to book in appointments. It's a different little way of doing it. But then we start looking at the location. So what it does is it is obviously looking at them at the moment. So it's looking at all these different calendar locations I've had before. You can specify what virtual ones are. So it will automatically pick up any meeting that has any of these words in it. It will see it as a virtual meeting and it won't actually add the travel time into it, which is fantastic. And then you've also got bases as well. So you can put in, you know, where the home office is or anywhere else that you spend a lot of time and it will look at those as well. So it's a very cool and nifty little bit of software. I absolutely love it for letting me know how long things are going to take without having to then jump into Google and work out what the travel time is and make a separate calendar booking. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Um, I'd really love to know if you tried the software and what you think about it as well.